Okay, so now I'm downstairs. It's July 12th, 2019. Here's the table. This is the brown dresser I'm talking about, people. This is coming out of the basement today. When this all happened with Shemaid, this was not here. What this is, is I used to have food storage in here. Here is cloth diapers, uh, cotton, to make cloth diapers, which I'm going to be making for Amari. Right? Anyway, this wall unit used to be, and I'm going to put it here today, and I'm going to show you, used to be right here. Okay? The piano was right here, people. This is where the piano was. Here's the laundry room. You can see. Here's the laundry room. So now just imagine this piano here. It was a stand-up piano. We brought that home from the house over there because that was going to be Shimei's piano. Shimei was so excited to have that piano. You can see down the hall. The furthest room on to the left was Tisha's and a little up this way was Shimei's and then there's Mark Haines. But you can see how long this hall is. Okay. And then, so you're coming down the hall. Here's the laundry room. There would have been a stand-up piano right here. So technically, if you're switching over laundry, you wouldn't see people walking back and forth here, right? And with this wall unit right here, right here, you wouldn't see if somebody was around behind it. This wasn't all here, people. What was here was a TV with a wall unit and whatnot. There was a futon here, right? And Shimei's body was right here. Okay, obviously the futon is gone. The piano was not there. It was TV, wall unit. The piano, you can see how high it is. So technically, that piano would have been up about this high. I can measure it put it up against the wall so if you're in here switching over laundry turning on the machines you couldn't see do you see people you couldn't see somebody you couldn't see somebody zip by hide behind that wall unit I'm going to put it there and then we're going to stand here and you're going to see where the wall unit was but don't forget that piano that piano was right here, people. All she would have seen was the back of the piano. So not only are you not being able to see people walk by, but you know when you add furniture, it muffles the sound. And if you're walking down the hall real quiet, nobody's going to hear you. She's in the laundry room rattling around with a piano there buffering any kind of sound that's in here. Now, the futon was here. Shimei's head was right here, people. I'll show you. side of that wall unit was Shimei's head. That person came this way and stood right here. Here's the futon. Here's Shimei's head. And then Tisha Did I, did I, was I recording or was I not? Hold on. Okay, now I'm recording. Anyway, as I was saying, this food storage, do you see? Remember that? It's all food, food up in there. So I'm sorting this out. Hold on. Okay. So as I'm going about, you can see this food storage, people. That 
one's locked. And there's some school books. And then whatever's in here. This is why I told Shimi. If you got cut off of welfare because you were going to school, it didn't matter because we had food people. I've been food prepping for a long time. I've 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 um I don't know why those are empty. I think my son comes in here every now and then. But I was rearranging and doing whatever. These things have been sitting there since 2012. So over the next little while, we'll open some of them up and see what we get. I'm pretty sure those apple pieces are still good. Hold on. Okay. This is what I'm talking about right here. Do you see that? That's how it was, people. This blue here is the back of the futon. And that teddy bear head is the back of Shimei. And Tisha is sitting in a chair in the kitchen looking towards the window. Now remember, the piano is not there. The piano is where I showed you in the laundry room. What was there was TV and all, and a big wall unit and all this other stuff. Tisha's in here. Hold on. Okay. Oh. I turned off the lights because Tisha was in the dark. Here's the kitchen table. Right, she's having a smoke because she's now going to look after the baby. Bishme is calming down and getting ready to go to sleep because she was up all night looking after Marty. So Tisha's on the phone, on her cell phone, talking to her boyfriend at 8.55 in the morning. And she sees Shmay's head and her and her boyfriend we're kind of chuckling about how Shimei is snoring. Because Tisha says, oh, Shimei sat up. You know, she's sitting up and she's snoring. She fell asleep, you know, sitting up. And, uh, and as she's doing that, having her smoke in the dark, you can see I turned off all the lights. Right, it's 8.55 in the morning. Five minutes to nine. All of a sudden, there's, right? I showed you how long the hall was. This guy, he... Hold on a minute. Okay. You don't need to hear anybody because there was no noise. You can hear the laundry. Can you hear the washing machine? Because Tisha was doing laundry, right? So she's sitting here, chuckling on about Shimei snoring, having her smoke in the dark, getting ready to hunker down and look after the baby, and she's just waiting for the laundry to finish so she can switch it over. And then all of a sudden, boom! There's that guy standing right here in his undershorts. But he didn't when he came in, he was looking at Shimei. He didn't know he didn't know Tisha was sitting here, people. He didn't know. So by the time he got right there, standing right next to Shimei. Right? I'll put the drum there, hold on. So you can hear the washing machine. Right? So she's in the dark having smoke. Carry on. And then all of a sudden, he just comes out of nowhere. She doesn't hear him come down the hall. Because he's coming down the hall quiet. And then he stands basically right there. I put the drum there. To show you how far he was away from Shmi. What? Two and a half, three feet? No more than that. And he's looking at Tisha. And now he's accusing Tisha of having no right to be in her own kitchen. Having a smoke at five to nine in the morning. What are you doing there? He says to her, as he startled, right? He comes, he doesn't notice. But once he gets to this point, he catches Tisha from the corner of his eye, gets defensive. What are you doing there? She looks up. And there he is. And she puts her hand out like this to show him that she's smoking. I don't think she said anything because she, she just went like this. Like, you know, because, you know, he's been around a long time. And don't think running around with his undershorts was unusual, because it wasn't. Because many, many, many fucking times, people, I told that man to put on his fucking pants. So, once he realized... Now, don't forget, Shimei's sitting there in the middle of the death rattle. As he's standing right there, getting annoyed with Tisha for sitting right here, 
she shows him that he has she has the cigarette and he turns around and he fucking beelines back to Shemaine's bedroom. So Tisha gets off the phone. She thinks her sister's falling asleep. You can hear the laundry stopped. So she just goes automatically. Either she can't remember if she went down to her bedroom first to get a new load or if she went into the laundry room and started switching things over to put in a new load. The point is, is she went in between her bedroom and the laundry room to switch over laundry over a space of 10 minutes. So hold on. Okay. So now Tisha's switching over laundry. So she's either way down there at the far room, people. Not the first room, not the second room, but the furthest room. Either grabbing the laundry, checking up on the baby, so she can come down here, go past the piano, because don't forget, the piano was here. And that's a stand-up piano, brand new piano. Well, it wasn't brand new, but it was for us. And she's in here, rattling around, where when she comes out, right? Now just imagine this is an actual futon. It was a futon here, right? When she comes out, but because the futon is high, you can't see what's laying down. You just know that she doesn't see Shimei's head there anymore. Right? So she just thinks that Shimei woke herself up and, and laid herself down. Because by the time we got to her at 10, she was on the futon. So just imagine the blue futon here. This would be all the blue futon right in here. Shimei would have been sitting here. She died sitting up, urinated, defecated. We have the stains. We have pictures of that. Cops were notified of that. They took pictures of it. When the second investigators came three, four weeks later or whatever it was, they acted like it meant nothing. They basically ignored it. But when we were called because Shimei wasn't responding, this is where she was. Her head was at the furthest end of the futon. So the futon would go from here, from here, to about where that suitcase was. So Shimei was laying right up in here, with her head over here. And she had a white tank top on, tank top on. But when she did her Snapchat, when she was sitting right here, because that's where her head would have been. It was black. But if you notice, people, look. What do you see? You see a little cubby. So as Tisha's switching over in the laundry, that person came down the hall, heard her in there, knew she was busy, took his moment of opportunity, because he didn't want Tisha to say, hey, Shmei, wake up, go lay down, because Shmei was dying, but she had died when he was standing here, people, because by the time he got to her, she had already defecated and urinated, but he moved her body before 9.10, not at 10, and this is what the cops are ignoring. And then he left her laying like that for 50 minutes. And just to be safe, if Tisha was to come, he did this quickly knowing she was doing laundry. And then he probably hid in here and waited till she was back in her room looking at Shimei. And then when he real, you know, when he knew that she wasn't coming back out because she was in her bedroom, he just went quietly back down the hall into Shimei's room. And then he left her there. So by the time Tisha came out, her sister was laying like that. And bubbles were coming out of just one nostril, just starting. Two minutes later, Tisha says it's less than two minutes. Within a minute and a half, by the time I came down to her people and I got to her, she was as gray as she was in my dream, with the face up being dead. And all the bubbles were coming out of her both nostrils and her mouth. In like, it was just beginning to pour out of her mouth and her nose, people. So, 
those bubbles were coming up before we were alerted and I'm thinking that's why her shirt was changed. Either or, you can see. If somebody wanted to hide, very easy to hide. He stood right beside her, looked at Tisha. What are you doing there? Tisha says. And he turned around and beeline right back down. He's six, 5'11", people. 5'11". She was struggling to breathe. He walked away from her. Needless to say, I'm getting emotional here. Do you see that? Do you see where that... This is that... It's not that. But that's represents... Just like the teddy bear represents Shmei, this here represents that flip drug phone. That's where Mark Kane found it. And then he gave it to Tisha. He came out with his drug phone, put it down, was in a panic, because he knew that Tisha could just stumble upon her sister and save her, or whatever. He didn't want that to happen. So he quickly moved her within a space of ten minutes, hid, waited for her Tisha to finish laundry, and because he was thinking of not getting caught, what did he do? He forgot his drug phone, people. That's what happened. He forgot his drug phone. And the cops were completely fucking ignoring it. Okay. So this is the floor that's coming up. <coughs> that counter. Probably that one, because the floor has to come up, so they have to do the whole thing, right? I just finished washing the fridge. I'm going to turn it off there in a minute. All right. You can see. Just old age. Right there, people. That's where Shemay died. Right up in there. Well, actually, she was sitting up. Right? She was sitting right there. Right there. And Tisha was sitting where I'm standing. That's where that wall unit was. It's gone now, right? Now you understand why I did what I did. And then, when I got to her, she had been laid down. She died right here, people. Sitting up. Right there. There's their piano that she never got to play. And somebody took, in this, these pianos they have little drum things that one is missing. 